I am going to go step by step on how I laid this beautiful human hair perfection from Uniwigs, including this hairline. Let's get right to it. First step here is to pull the wig cap all the way down, of course, past my hairline. Take some Gorilla Snot and uh, smooth that. Slick it all of my hair down, get that wig cap really stuck. My got to be free spray um, to finish that step. Uh, make sure I get that and then give it a little blow dry. And then the next step um, is to take the, cut the wig cap off, the band um, that was down on my forehead. Um, I trim that all up. You wanna be very careful not to cut your hair. Um, I trim that all the way around the back um, and the sides. And then I take a little bit more product, the Gorilla Snot, and I lay those edges of the wig cap back down. Um, it really gives a smooth base to where you're gonna put your lace and uh, makes it practically invisible. My next step here is to get my wig that I'm going to wear. This is the Perfection uh, from Uniwigs. It is human hair. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorites. Um, inside of the wig, there is a comb in the back that comes in very handy for me. And of course, the, the lace in the front. Um, I put another layer of the Gorilla Snot uh, right along the front edge of my wig cap on top where I'm going to lay my lace. Um, this method that I use makes my wigs very, very secure. Um, they stay for mm, up to seven days I can wear this. So when I put the wig on, I uh, adjust the ear tabs first. Um, and then in the back, I take the comb and slip it up underneath the wig cap. And here I just clip the sides of the, the hair back on the sides of the wig so I can really see what I'm doing. Um, I put the Gorilla Snot and the Free Spray, and then I go in with my nail or um, with uh, uh, sometimes the back end of a rat tail comb and um, really blow dry that down and get those edges stuck down really well. This process does take a little bit of time, but this right here is what really makes your wig secure in the front. Um, it makes it possible for you to pull it back and wear it in like a half up style. Um, makes it possible for you to be able to run your fingers through it. And um, it really makes your wig not only secure, but look more natural. Um, so you really want to take your time in, in doing this. Um, get the Gorilla Snot and the Free Spray, uh, your blow dryer, and here I've got um, the little razor that I use to cut baby hairs with. I've got the end of that and um, go in with a toothbrush. We're not going to lay the baby hairs per se right now. Um, you see them just kind of blowing around in my blow dryer there. Um, what I'm really concerned about right now is just getting the lace laid down and we'll take care of the baby hairs after a while. Um, now here I go in with concealer um, because I usually wash my wigs, you know, every time I go to, when I take them off, I, I wash them um, and then uh, dry them before I put them back on. So I have to put concealer on it every time. I go in and take concealer um, and put it on the lace. Um, I am pretty fair, um, and I think it, it does really well in covering up the knots. This is a human hair wig, so I could bleach the underside, bleach the knots if I wanted to, but it's just not something that I'm into. I am curling um, curling this hair. I'm just, I'm not being gentle about it, running my fingers through it, pulling on this on the wig. Um, and it is so secure that it, it's not coming up at all. Um, I'm running my fingers through it. Now, I would totally wear this wig just like this. Um, you can, at this point, wear it just the way it is, and the lace is stuck down. It's very secure, beautifully curled. It looks very natural. Um, I like to lay my baby hairs um, uh, uh, 
yep, yep. I put on a little bit of foundation right there. Um, I wanted to put my foundation on before I lay my baby hairs um, officially down with the Gorilla Snot um, and a spoolie. Um, so I put a little bit of Gorilla Snot on the spoolie or on my finger, and I take those baby hairs, and I give them a little, just more kind of a formation. I put them in some waves, um, and then I press them down. I take a little bit of the got to be free spray on my finger and press it down and really let that dry. Um, uh, I don't blow dry that because it'll lift. Um, I just let that air dry. Um, but you see that hairline is flawless. And voila, put a little bit of makeup on and you are ready to go. So that is the full transformation from start to finish of how I go from no hair to perfect hair. This is one of my absolute favorite wigs. Um, I just absolutely love it. I love the color of it. I want to thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.